Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be uh, me gel printing. Um, this is my Jelly Arts gel printing plate and here's some of my paints that I'm gonna use today. I've had my jelly printing plate for a while. I've only used it a couple times and uh, it's been a while. So I'm gonna get that out. I've got some papers out here that were paint pickups from other projects but they're just not awesome. So I thought, well, why not just paint? Paint all over them in other cool ways. And a paint pickup notebook, and this is an old address book. I'm also going to use these uh, mark making tools, a stencil, um, these uh, mark plates. Um, I have, I got them for a really good deal at a thrift store here in town and uh, they're all nice and clean so i'm excited to see what they end up looking like on my project and this doily i've used on other projects and bubble wrap is always a good thing to have around and this mesh from i think orange bag or something little cuties this is from a Catan game that we just got it's really a fun game so recommend that and we'll see what that what that turns out to look like it's only cardboard though and of course regular paper standing by and one thing you need to have before any of this gets started is plenty of room. You need to have a lot of space for drying. I have space in front of me, alongside of me, behind me, I'm on the floor. <laughs> so you need a lot of space to let things dry. Um, just FYI there, <laughs> helpful tip. So I'm gonna get started. Um, the three little jelly, oh and of course, you need a, a brayer. Oh, you don't need one, I guess. It's just nice to have. It just spreads out paint really nice. You can spread it out with other things, I guess. But So here's my jelly print. <clears throat> and uh, like I said, I've had this for a while. just haven't brought it out to play with. And it's got some good ideas on the information uh, page that uh, you can use if you're a beginner. And um, one of the plastic pa papers that uh, go on my jelly print was damaged so I'm just using a piece of yellow binder divider uh, thing so um, when I'm taking this off I'm noticing that there are bubbles in it um, there uh, maybe they're just dried sections and it feels like my jelly plate is pretty dry and I live in a climate that has very low humidity and at a high altitude so I think that might have something to do with it so I'm gonna get started on painting and we'll just see what happens because you never know with jelly printing. Getting some pages ready to go and I'm gonna get going and I will see you at the end with the results.
As you can see, some of them turned out much better than the others. And that's, you know, that's the chance you take when you're doing this kind of a thing. It's all a learning process and it's all for fun too. And this one I liked except for that section. And this one I just couldn't fix no matter what I tried. And you know, that black was a mistake. This one is another one, just couldn't fix. I like this one, it's turned out nice. That can be definitely leaves or some other type of green things. So they mostly turned out pretty cool. That one ripped. Here's the stuck one. And I like the color combos on that. I think this one's my favorite. Just the drastic differences in colors. A nice background, fun red flex, and then that's just whatever. So that's what I did. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I sure had fun doing this. I love you guys. Thanks for coming and spending some time with me today. And as always, God bless.